So today we have got in front of us a, a nuke of bees and that's about 10,000 bees. It's a little mini colony if you like. And we're going to talk about the importance of the queen. Hello, my name is Julia Common. I'm the co-founder of Hives to Humanity and I am also the chief beekeeper here at the Fairmont Waterfront Hotel in Vancouver. And this is Andrew. Andrew is a beekeeper at Hives to Humanity and uh, we work together quite a bit, don't we Andrew? Yeah. Today we're talking about the queen. The queen is like the uber mother of the colony. She lays all the eggs. The bees know within 15 to 20 minutes if their queen is not with them. And therefore, as a beekeeper, it's very important that we also keep the queen safe. So when we're inspecting the bees, we lift off the lid very gently. And Andrew and I are going to try and locate the queen so that we can ensure as we inspect the colony that nothing happens to her. And so a typical thing to do to keep the queen safe if you're a beekeeper, especially if you're a new beekeeper, is to put her somewhere where she's not going to get squished. So Andrew's going to put her in this nuke box that we always carry with us. And we'll often we'll cover her to keep it in darkness because the bees have come out of the darkness and that's going to keep those bees calm. And now we can work our bees, we can manipulate the frames without the danger of hurting the queen. Another thing you can do if you're feeling confident is actually learn to pick up your queen and put her in a cage, which is even a safer thing to do once you've got that level of confidence. And then again, now we have the freedom to manipulate the frames, to change frames perhaps from one colony to another, and we always know the queen is safe and sound. So that's what the beekeeper can do to ensure that nothing happens to the queen during an inspection. 